going on YouTube? This is Lawrence the Mighty Comics Guy back with another video and today I've got some uh, comic goodness that arrived in the mail on uh, Wednesday at work and I'm happy to show this to you guys today. This will probably be my last big book for the year and probably for a few months I would assume. Um, I was lucky enough to stumble across this book on Instagram uh, through one uh, a guy that I had met on there who had uh, sold quite a few books uh, to a few other people that I know on Instagram and he had this going up for about what it was worth and I was able to get it for a little bit of a, uh, a discounted price. So this is a big one, uh, one that I have been hunting for for a while but as you guys know I've been hunting for a lot of books for a while so this one I am truly truly glad I finally have in my collection so I'm going to show you guys what it is. Uh, Let's take a look. As I'm glad they he sent it in a, a really really good priority mailbox instead of a mailer. Because when you when you guys see what this is going to be, you're going to be like, wow. Uh, I'm glad he sent this in a box too. But you never know what people like online. So, but uh, usually from all the guys I've dealt with on Instagram, they've done a a really really good job of uh, taking care of the important books. So, let's see if I can get this bad boy open. Hopefully I'll be able to acquire a few more small books by the end of the year. I'll be able to show you guys, but this one, this one is a, a big one. It's something I have owned in my collection before, but this is, I had it years and years ago. Um, I actually had a, a restored copy, but uh, didn't have it for too long. Let's see. So inside that UP, USPS box was a FedEx box and this is sealed. So this guy definitely did a, uh, a really really good job of packaging everything I've been lucky this year I've I've gotten quite a few number of big keys that I've been looking for at reasonable prices so I'm kind of hoping the market stays where it is and, and these books can continually go up in price um, but you never know either way I love the characters I love the books and I love the collection that I've been able to acquire so uh, if I can get this box open I'll gladly show you what I was able to add. Let's see. Wow. Inside this FedEx box is another FedEx box. And guys, I am not kidding you. I am not playing a game. This is how it was sent to me, which is a little overkill, but either way, as long as the book is safe, I don't care. But it's uh, pretty great of this guy to do. All right. So let me try to get this out without you guys knowing what it is. All right, so this is what you see, wrapped nice, nice in the back. Guy did a really, really good job. So let me take it off screen for a second, unwrap it, show you what I was able to acquire for a pretty decent price. I'm also gonna take it out of the uh, wrapping, the CGC plastic wrapping, because I'm not a fan of those things. But, uh, Book looks pretty good to me. Tales of Suspense 39. First appearance of the one and only Iron Man and Tony Stark. It was my one of my personal favorites. And I think uh, a lot of people came to love this character once we see uh, once we saw Robert Downey Jr. Uh, play him in the first Iron Man movie. And I was always an Iron Man fan growing up. More of a Spider-Man fan and Batman fan when I was a kid. But uh, Iron Man was, was right up there with him. So... Um, to have this finally back in my collection, I mean, it's a 2.0 cover detached, but it's a clean looking cover, definitely some dirt on it. Um, you never know what a uh, pressing or a cleaning could do. And there are also some Newton rings in this case that you see here. But uh, other than that, the book looks pretty good. Uh, I have no complaints. I'm glad I was able to pick this up off of Instagram. Again, a major, major key I'm able to add to my collection this year. So that's that's quite a few. So I have a bunch of the big keys now. Um, still working my way on a few, which I don't know if I'll be able to acquire them. You know, they're Hulk number one, uh, ASM number one. Uh, you know, I don't know how long it's going to be for those books. But, uh, you know, the first appearance of Iron Man and Tony Stark is a pretty big one. So it's a pretty good accomplishment. 
And I'm glad to have this one on my collection. So this is Lawrence, the Mighty Comics Guy, saying subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for letting me be a part of your community, and I will see you guys soon.